Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to thepixellab.net. This is Jordan Condell, and I have a bit of a follow-up tutorial. A while ago, I showed you how to take a texture and uh, put it in your content browser and how to archive them. Well, I've had a couple of people ask me how to do that with a 3D model. So let's say you have a bunch of 3D models and you want to organize them and be able to uh, sort through them really easily. Let me go ahead and show you. Let's open up our content browser here. This is the uh, financial pack, and this is the first time I've done a lib4d uh, for one of my packs. And you can see that's really easy to sort through. You have your thumbnails, and you also have a larger preview image here. Well, to do this, it's very, very simple. So we're going to go ahead and go to New Preset Library. And then you're going to name this. And this is going to be the name that shows up on this folder right here. So we're just going to do this one called Test. And it's going to open up an empty guy. All right, so let's go ahead and say we have um, one model here, and we also have some other elements. Well, if we go ahead and add our pirate's chest, first of all, we're going to notice that uh, if we open that up, we're not going to have this scene with it. Everything's not going to come along with it, just the, the pirate chest. The other thing you're going to notice is that it makes a texture folder, all right, which is pretty sweet. So this is uh, getting close. Let's go ahead and delete these. Uh, what you're going to want to do is take your models and anything that you want to come across with this and go ahead and hit Alt-G and make a null. And then we'll name that one uh, Pirate Chest. Now if we bring in that null, it's going to come with all of that, uh, the scene in there and everything. So that's going to be the way to go. Now another thing you're going to notice is that when you do that, the uh, thumbnail is not very easy to see, right? So we need a way to change this thumbnail and it's super easy. All you have to do is right click on here and go Set Preview. And then you're going to get a finder window and you're going to have to find a image of that uh, that model. So what I did is I rendered out a still image of it and then I saved that out as a JPEG and uh, we'll go ahead and find that guy and double click it to add it. And then whatever image you select there is going to be the thumbnail for here. So the cool thing is if you add multiple models to this library, they're all going to show up in here, but all of the textures are going to be in this folder and it'll just add them. So it's a really, really good way to uh, kind of tidy up your models and be able to search through them very easily. So, And another nice thing is if you want to back this up or share it with another person, all you have to do is right click show in finder, it'll pop open that test.lib4d and you can take that file and archive it or uh, ship it off to somebody else working your company. So that's it. I hope that's uh, useful for you and I hope that saves you some time. Thanks for checking out the pixellab.net and we'll talk again soon. Bye everybody.